Hello, I'm Dr. Bone Girl, and this is the weekly update for May 7th, 2013. Iron Man 3 opened this weekend, and it kinda kicked ass. Total domestic sales totaled over $175 million, making it the second largest opening weekend of any movie. That's more than Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, The Dark Knight, and even those gay teenage vampire movies. That's also eight times as much as Pain and Gain and 23 times as much as The Big Wedding, which we predicted would be so bad that we never even got around to seeing it. The only film to have a larger opening weekend was The Avengers, which also stars Tony Stark as one of the main characters. If you haven't seen it, then be sure to check out our review to see why you should. Well, Lindsay Lohan is back in the news for some reason, and while discussing her dozens of AA meetings, recalled that she was never a heavy drinker. She also claimed that she only tried cocaine a few times. This reminds me of the song from The Little Mermaid where Ursula explains that she's really the good guy. True Blood is apparently still going strong with its sixth season coming sometime this year. All I can tell you about True Blood, other than what I've learned from Family Guy, is that it's about vampires and you have to pay extra to watch it. So yeah, maybe I'll catch that one when it goes on Netflix. Brian Singer has been releasing behind the scenes photos from the next X-Men movie. The most recent one is of Ellen Page as Kitty Pride. Let us know if you're excited for another X-Men movie and not the Wolverine remake. And check out our website to see all the released photos. The next film will involve time travel and characters from the X-Men trilogy and First Class, including Jennifer Lawrence, Ian McKellen, Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, Halle Berry, Ellen Page, James McAvey, and Anna Pequin. I just messed up her name. Pequin? Paquin. I'm sure we can fix that in editing. It better be freaking epic. That's all I'm going to say now that I've murdered someone's name. With all these sequels and threequels and reboots, I think it's important to mention one very overlooked upcoming movie, Mission Impossible 5. Of course, it is going to star Tom Cruise, but in just how many different ways can he save the world? What do you think? Should they keep making Mission Impossible movies or focus on something else? Keep in mind, the last Mission Impossible movie has made over $200 million dollars in the US alone, so it's still profitable to make a big action movie with no plot. But really, I mean, we have James Bond finally being good again, and that Jack Reach around movie. Do we really need an MI5? The Great Gatsby opens this weekend, and we're definitely slightly interested. Based on the popular classic, it looks like Baz Luhrmann can take this story to the next level with his extravagant scenery and intricate storytelling. He has directed several other films, most notably Moulin Rouge and Australia. Leonardo DiCaprio has recently shown that he can own pretty much any role he plays, so it will be interesting to see what the two can do with The Great Gatsby. Stick around for our, for our review once it's out.